This is my friend Ryan Trahan. And right now he's traveling across America to deliver Mr. Beast a penny. So I thought I'd show my support and instead build and deliver Ryan one too. Except our penny isn't gonna be a regular one. It's gonna be a hundred times the size. So because the penny is gonna be one of the world's largest, we started by planning. The penny is gonna be eight feet tall and eight feet wide. It's gonna be massive. And as you can imagine, making something as small as a penny that big is very hard to do. So here's Aaron to explain more. My plan for this penny is to cut it out of three layers of foam. To ensure it's perfect, I'm gonna project this image onto the wall and then trace it onto the foam. And to top it all off, I'm gonna personally hand sculpt Abraham Lincoln's head. So our game plan is looking mint. You see what I did there? <laughs> yeah, it's like where they make the pennies. But there still is one massive problem. Ryan Trahan is currently going around the country and we have no idea where he is right now. I could just FaceTime him real quick. Well, he didn't answer. I know he's super busy going across the country right now. So I guess we're gonna be building this penny with no idea if we'll be able to find him or if he'll even accept it. Sounds like every other project. But before we can start working on the penny, we need to get some materials. This is the foam boards we're gonna be using, but look, it's got so much damage. Maybe we should get the one from behind. After picking out all the supplies, we need to surprise Ryan Trahan. It's time to head back to the warehouse. <sighs> I can already tell this penny is going to be mint. It ain't no dime. <laughs> I'm already getting sick of these petty jokes. We now have the image of the penny projected onto the wall. The next step is to take our foam boards and tape them on the wall so we can trace it and then it'll be an exact replica of this massive penny. I didn't even think about this, but are we gonna do both sides of the penny? Yeah, we have to. Okay, that is a lot of tracing. I think there's more detail on the back too. Next, we grabbed our giant foam boards and taped them the wall so we can start tracing. This is gonna be the actual size of the penny when we're done. That is one big penny. Next, we started tracing every detail into our foam. Does anybody else feel like we're cheating since we're tracing? No, not at all. I don't think we're cheating. I'm freehanding, what do you mean? So we just completed tracing the penny, so when we turn off the projector, Abraham Lincoln will still be on the foam board. That is so sweet. Look at the detail. Every little letter, his hair. This is gonna be insane. Next, we're gonna start cutting out the details using a small blade. In total, there's over 65 letters to cut and we have to make sure they are perfect. There's multiple different fonts, so we have to cut them out perfectly and it's really confusing to tell which one's which. After hours of precise work, we're ready for the next step. Now that we have the letters cut, we're gonna start sculpting them to make them rounded on the edges. While the team was busy setting the letters, Aaron started hand sculpting Abraham Lincoln's face. Right now, I'm sculpting the texture into his hair to make him look 3D. Abe, you're looking like a babe. I'm about to start working on this Lincoln Memorial. I'm almost done and you're just starting? You're just doing one letter. Yeah, and all those other letters I've done. This project requires a lot of detail work and Ryan only has a few days left in his challenge so we have to hurry. I have three days left to do this. And to make things worse, I have no idea where Ryan is. He could literally be anywhere in the country. While I made some phone calls and did some research to try to find Ryan Trahan, the team was finishing up the details for the giant penny. So we just completed sanding all of the letters and it looks like a giant bowl of alphabet soup. This is the worst alphabet soup. I got an idea. Watch this. Subscribe! Speaking of subscribing, did you know if you subscribe to this channel right now, you have a chance to win $1,000 just like this. For being subscribed, you just won $1,000. Oh my god! <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh my god. Every single week we give one random subscriber a thousand dollars. So make sure to subscribe right now and join the beam team. There's so many letters to say. I've been working on the stairs for the Lincoln Memorial for seven hours and it still feels like I'm getting nowhere. Right now our penny is cut into two sections. Now it's time to attach it. This thing is massive. You said you wanted it eight feet tall. This is crazy. Once we get this penny glued together, we're gonna use this piece of Abraham Lincoln, put it on the top so it's 3D just like a real penny. That'll also give it a lot of strength. We're gonna be using these skewers and glue to attach the penny together. Ready to go. After hours of work, Aaron finally completed sculpting Abraham Lincoln and this thing looks incredible. The detail is insane. We have his little suit right here, his hair, ears, everything is identical to the real penny. Ryan Trahan is going to love this. What's the next step now? We gotta glue all these letters onto the penny. I don't even remember what the words were. There's a bunch of different sizes and fonts, so now we have to organize all of this chicken noodle soup mess right here and then we can start gluing and assembling the penny. Let's do it! We have all of the letters laid out in the order that they go. Next, we're gonna start putting them onto the penny, but we have to decide if we're gonna do the front or the back first. So we're gonna decide with the flip of a real penny. I don't know how to do that fancy stuff, so I'm just gonna throw it. Tails. We're doing tails first. Let's just do the words in order. We'll start with United and just go all the way around the coin. We have all of the letters attached to the back side of the penny. Now it's time to add the Lincoln Memorial. Let's slap this puppy on. Now we're starting to do the top side of the coin. So we have the entire top side of the coin completed besides Abraham Lincoln's face, so it's time to add that. Aaron literally spent hours sculpting this, so it's extremely risky. I hope we don't break it. It's kind of thin in the neck, so let's be careful. He made this in two parts. So here's the back of his head. 
Whoa, we have half of the head down. Now it's time for the face. Pass me that bottom half. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now yeah, there we go. This looks incredible. Look at that thing. Well, it's not a dime, but she is a pretty penny. How long have you been wanting to say that joke in this video? Honestly, I've had that one up my sleeve for a while. <laughs> <laughs> now that the penny is assembled, we glue it together and now we can start painting. So unfortunately, the spray paint burns the foam. So first we're gonna prime it and then tomorrow we'll finish it with the copper finish. I can't wait to see it all finished. There is so much for us to paint though. All these little cracks. Yeah, we're gonna be here a while. After hours of priming and letting it dry, it's time for the next step. We have now let the primer sit for a few days, so now it's time to paint this bad boy copper. This is so cool, look at this. <laughs> We've been working on this penny for a few days now and we're finally ready for the last step. All right, let's get to painting. Let's do this. But there's one problem. I have to put the paint on extremely light because earlier we ran some tests and it burns the foam. Once I started adding the copper finish, this thing really started to come to life. I have most of the penny completed, but I left Abraham Lincoln's face, so I'm gonna do that next. This is gonna look sick. Do you guys think this is how real pennies are made? As we started painting the rest of the penny, we still have a massive problem. Ryan only has a few days left in his challenge and I still have no idea where he's at. But we do have one clue. As everyone knows, it's Ryan Trahan's goal to hand deliver Mr. Beast a penny all the way in North Carolina. And since Ryan is almost done with this challenge, he was last seen in Nashville, but I'm guessing he is long gone from there. So I just came up with the plan to buy a plane ticket and fly to North Carolina and start searching for him. The only problem is our giant penny is all the way here in Colorado, which is a 37 hour drive away. So I'm gonna start flying to North Carolina immediately to track down Ryan and find him. And meanwhile, Hayden is gonna start loading up the penny so he can start driving to meet me there in two days. So the penny is all loaded up. I'm taking it to North Carolina. I just arrived to the airport. Next, I'm gonna fly to North Carolina and start hunting down Ryan Trahan and hopefully I can find him. Next stop, North Carolina. I am officially on the road. I feel like this drive is gonna be a breeze. I just made it to North Carolina and I'm gonna try to track down Ryan Trahan and find him. I feel like first we should start with every McDonald's in location because he goes there all the time. Been on the road for four or five hours now. All I'm staring at is open fields and semi trucks. I'm looking for someone named Ryan Trahan. Have you seen him? No, I see him. He's supposed to be here soon though. Is he? Yeah. But you haven't seen him yet? No, not yet. Can I have a Coca Cola, please? Is that all for you? Have you seen a blonde YouTuber coming here today? No. I don't think so. No? This drive has been super long and miserable, so I hope Matthew's having a better time than I am. Well, one McDonald's down and no Ryan Trahan. Guess we'll keep looking. I've run into an issue. Every single hotel is either booked or closed. And so now I have to sleep in the U-Haul on the side of the road. So far, I've had no luck finding Ryan. But wow, is this hotel amazing. Good morning, guys. I slept right here on the floor in between the two seats. Now time to go hit the road again. I still have 18 hours of driving. By any chance, has there been a YouTuber around here? Like Wand named Ryan? <laughs> have you seen someone named Ryan Trahan? No. Have you seen someone named Ryan Trahan? No. No? I am officially in North Carolina, which means Matt is running out of time. I see Hayden. There he is. Yeah. I haven't seen him in days. I'm finally here after 2,000 miles. Where's Ryan? About that. Now that Hayden's here with the penny, we only have one day left until Ryan Trahan is completely done with this challenge. So I've been sending Ryan a bunch of text messages hoping that he sees them. He might not even be in this town. Imagine if he's not in North Carolina. <laughs> we came all the way here. Ryan just texted me. Wait, what? He said he's in a field and he'll take the penny from us. He's gonna take the penny? Yes. That means I didn't drive 2,000 miles for nothing. All right, now we're gonna go unwrap the penny and drive it to Ryan so we can surprise him with this. I can't wait. So the only thing that could potentially go wrong now is if our penny is broken inside of this thing. Looks great. Looks like it's in one piece. All right, here we go. Let's give him the penny. How you been? Good, bro. So good to see you, man. I love this, I love the merch. I'm gonna go back there and get my giant surprise for you. Help me, help hey, me, Ryan, Matthew. I'll guide you. Here's my hand. Okay, that's a nice hand. I'm excited, Matthew. Here. This could be anything. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah. I'm you can open your eyes. I'm nervous. Okay, three, two, one. Oh my God. Oh, it's upside down. It's upside down. <laughs> it's upside down. Roll it, roll it, roll it. Dude, that's beautiful. Can I just give him a kiss? Is that weird? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this is sweet, man. This is literally huge. This is all foam, hand sculpted. Whoa. So for reference, I'm 6'7". So this is probably... <laughs> and then also, we did the back. Wow, dude, that is so pretty. That's insane, man. I feel like I should eat it. I don't know why, this looks like chocolate to me. <laughs> we should definitely go try to spend it. What do you think we could buy with it? <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Inflation is rampant. Are we gonna flip this thing? Dude, I just wanna run with it real quick. <laughs> this is so fun. Heads or tails? Heads. And I'm tails, I guess. One, two, three. Ah! 
<laughs> yes! Yes! Amazing, man. Thanks so much. Of course. So cool. I have no idea what you're going to do with it now. Yeah, no, I'll just put it in my pocket and dip. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. <laughs> I wanted to mention how extremely proud I am of Ryan for completing this series and raising so much money for charity. So I am also going to be donating $10,000 myself to the amazing charity. And you should too donate down below. But anyways, that's it for this video. New videos every Tuesday. Thank you so much for watching me and team. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click this video right here. I'll see you guys next week. Bye! I love you, Ryan.